Hey guys, it's Mouthy here once again, and I'm finally back onto the bow train. Being able to try a bow character for the first time this league, and uh, in a couple of months, and it is of course Reign of Arrows. Reign of Arrows is a skill I was most excited to play out of all of the skills that we saw from the revamps, because the area looked great, and the playstyle looked like it would be pretty fun, and so far it has not disappointed. I wanted to make sure I'd um, wait to play this version of a bow character until I had a decent bit of gear, because uh, bow characters without any gear and as a completely fresh start are always going to be pretty unfun. Once you ramp the bow character up, it becomes pretty fast and rather enjoyable. And this character, I started right from the uh, start with Reign of Arrows, and up until this point, it is now level 85 or so, and was the fastest character I've leveled this league by quite some margin. The speed of Reign of Arrows, the feel of it, has just been simply amazing. Now, I suppose it is still pretty early days in the character's progression since, like I said, about level 85, just starting to hit red maps. And uh, I have been told over and over again by people that Reign of Arrows hasn't felt that good compared to some of the other bow skills, and uh, it fades away by the time you get to endgame. So we'll see how it goes, but so far from level 12 up till 85 doing all these tier 10s it's been the fastest shit I've played in quite a while and has been an extremely smooth uh, DPS and clear speed experience and I'm playing this one with Doom Fletch so you stack physical damage it gets converted into some elemental uh, all three types of elements it's a dead eye so we're pretty damn fast running around and the default area of Reign of Arrows is just absurd I currently have no area investment whatsoever uh, no gem, no dead eye ascendancy, and it clears just about the entire goddamn screen from range, from a distance, and does quite a lot of damage while doing so, especially when paired with Vile Rain of Arrows throughout um, a certain little boss fights here or there, and I will most likely be dropping in a few more optimal links, because currently I'm running faster attacks, you can definitely do something else like Conk Effect, or maybe even actually map with increased area, so we're still somewhat early in the character's um, finality, but I do have a good enough idea of what's happening here to be able to share it with you. Long story short, we are just running around, dropping Rain of Arrows with a lot of damage from the Doomfletch Prism, running a Law Weave because I haven't run one of those in a while as well, and the damage so far has been very respectable up till this tier of map, and uh, I think it should, by all accounts, hold up to the end game. I don't see any reason it's going to drop off the next few levels personally, and hell, it may even take on the actual end game. Uh, once we get to it, and more specifically, Uber Elder, because you're going to be very ranged, you're going to be very safe, and if the damage holds up, then it should be pretty much a breeze. Though, we do of course have a Blast Rain, the reworked Blast Rain, ready to go for a single target, if need be, as well. But personally, I am quietly optimistic about Rain of Arrows viability all the way through. Now, there are plenty of ways you can build Rain of Arrows, or bow characters in general, it doesn't have to be Doomfletch, could be pure lightning with a Tempest, could be a pure lightning conversion with just fizz to lightnings, can be, let's say, a straight up fizz bow, a lionized glare, some shaped bows, uh, deck stacking with pure cold. I think it's, um, yeah, quite a lot of uh, versatility out there right now. And of course, you can play some early hit or some shit like that. But if you want to try out the new Reign of Arrows, I do strongly recommend it. It's been quite a lot of fun. And I think uh, it is still pretty early, you know, only level 85. But I can see myself playing this character through to mid 90s, uh, maybe 94 or so, trying to get some end game down if it feels good enough. And I think it could be the favorite character of the league thus far, because it has just been a complete joy to run around and destroy entire screens and watch Reign of Arrows um, viability shoot through the roof as we level. Now, I will go over my character's gear and uh, progression in just a second, but I do want to kind of remind you that Doomfletch Prism, or Doomfletch in general, this type of scaling can, you know, sky is the absolute uh, limit. You can scale through lots and lots of different types of gear, jewelry, uh, damages, and it's kind of just up to how much you can spend or how lucky you get with certain drops, because uh, Doomfletch, just the nature of the flat fears into the Ellie conversion, means that you can, there are a lot of stats that you can scale for maximum damage. And the gear I'm currently wearing was, for the most part, self-crafted, but it is all pretty good stuff. By all means, you don't really need anything this good 
to uh, start getting to the same level of progression in um, these sorts of maps. Maybe once we start getting and uh, trying out the real end game and Uber Elder, you will need that type of gear, but it's pretty early, I can't really say that. So we'll see once we get there, but bow characters and the gear for bow characters isn't necessarily expensive or hard to get. It's just somewhat specific and without the right little uh, stats here or there, it's gonna feel pretty bad most of the time. So like I said, I do wanna go over the entire character for you guys and currently we're level 86 uh, to get to this stage we've now played 12 hours and a good couple of hours of that was standing around crafting and actually um, picking microtransactions and shit so honestly this character is going to hit level 90 pretty comfortably within like 15 hours and that's pretty crazy for my standards that's actually completely insane for my standards usually it takes about 18 to 24 hours depending on the uh, character's sort of speed and uh, level of um, DPS and all of that but this one like I said built around a rain of arrows over here you do have um, a var rain of arrows in the same um, a link basically you just right click and 21 arrows shoot out um, as you can see fires additional 21 arrows with var rain of arrows you just place a i guess beacon place a var rain of arrows in a spot and then it shoots down three waves uh, over the next few seconds just to help you out with some extra damage as well as that it maims the enemies so it's good for additional single target and a um, bit of extra boss fighting but it's not really hard carrying or anything so it's, don't be worried that you're uh, entirely relying on um, a var rain of arrows for this single target so rain of arrows like i said here you do just um, throw down your arrows in a big large area and you get quite a lot of them and the helm enchant does help quite a bit too 15 percent chance to fire an additional sequence of arrows so roughly a 15 percent damage increase there and i am based around doom fletch so it got nerfed its crit was taken away so it's pretty hard to scale crit here but you still gain a hundred percent of fizz as extra damage of each element so fire lightning and cold all of your fizz gets converted into that and that's why flat fizz is pretty important for us so we got fizz here got some fizz got some fizz got some fizz and the law weave itself has some fizz and on top of that we are running a um, chance to bleed support so there's quite a lot of fizz which then gets converted to ellie and all of that ellie is then also scaled through your um, elemental damage to attacks like let's say um, the belt over here or just attack damage uh, over here so it does end up being several different levels of scaling and doom fletch does seem to be still fairly strong even without the crit strikes um, that it used to have because you supplement it with a crit strikes gem and then try and get a lot of crit throughout the tree and uh, it still ends up getting something like 70 percent effective crit so it's not really a problem at all or you can go like a hatred watcher's eye which is you know six exalts and uh, start running additional crit there but currently i'm just running an anger and and a herald of ash anger is uh pretty close to the highest dps aura for us wrath is a bit higher but we can um for the most part justify anger because of the uh, jewel over here grab 45 to crit strike multi while affected by anger uh you could also grab a wrath one with just crit strike chance stuff like that just uh really you know something some fine tuning to do with the character and depends on the gear that's available to you because currently I don't have the int for a wrath so I couldn't use it even if I wanted to. So the actual links for the bow here are rain of arrows uh, into Ellie damage to attacks, chance to bleed and then crit strikes. Uh, Mirage Archer is also definitely something worth using especially for mapping at least I found it to be pretty useful and my sixth link currently is faster attacks which isn't very good don't really use it if you want to min max. Uh, we can then get fizz proj damage or something like uh, probably another blue so that we can then put in Ellie Focus or Conk Effect uh, throughout actual pure bossing single target. So faster attacks is by no means the sick flank. It's just a nice green to put in there for mapping at the moment. So like I mentioned, you do try and scale through physical and then um, elemental damage as well. And some of the more expensive pieces of gear I have are currently uh this ring that i just crafted myself today with a bit of chaos spam and then one exalt slam so you're trying to get some flat fizz and then some ellie damage to attacks and i had to start with a shaper ring uh so that i could enable mark of the elder for the additional damage and uh you know it's very good but it's not really that necessary to get this type of uh, damage and uh, amazingness and the spell damage of course doesn't do anything likewise i chaos spammed this belt uh took me like you know 100 chaos or something slammed a resist once again uh not a lot of damage coming from that but it is pretty tough to fill out resists on this build given that we're wearing a law weave star conjures 
uh, Tomb Fist, Mark of the Elder. So I had to get a couple of resists on the Quiver, had to get a couple of resists here. Going to get better boots and more resists there and some resist there. And currently I am over on my cold and I'm going to try and triple balance the Wise Oak tomorrow, which is always a pretty daunting task. But considering we do all three elemental damages pretty equally, it's something that definitely has to happen. You then look into the actual Abyssal Jewels in our Tomb Fist and we have a Murderous Eye that has a bit of physical damage to attacks and crit um, attacks attack speed based off of crit and some more physical damage to attacks and some life um, and then again over here physical damage to attacks and some life so the fizz damage to attacks is pretty important to get our out scaling actually going off of the doom fledge and then my five link over here is uh, just frenzy power charge on crit proj weakness crit strikes and curse on hit the main purpose is just to get a uh, curse on hit use for uh, certain bosses and tougher enemies just throw out a frenzy when you really need to do that and sometimes it will help you stack some uh, power charges and frenzy charges up too so that's for the most part the gear and uh, gems taken care of for now it's not the easiest character to gear up uh, in the end because of, like i said all the uniques and the resist but at the base level getting a bow character going is really simple really easy just get a few leveling uniques some leveling bows uh, flat damage on certain gear and it should be pretty comfortable up until level 60 70 just for leveling uh, when you go your ascendancy tailwind is something you grab pretty much always first as a dead eye i then went uh, rupture i then went fast and deadly and then went far shot and for his, uh, our actual passive tree progression just go straight through here and get all the damage then all this damage then um, start going down here and then go down to the duelist area so that you can get flat damage over here for this flat damage and then start going up to fill out your int and get some more flat damage. And that's the round of time you start going crit because you won't really be too crit heavy till like level 50 or 60. So you start filling out some crit and uh, your crit, your crit, and uh, your leech and mana leech whenever you're ready. Try and use some Aeron rings as you go. But uh, it should be a pretty smooth leveling experience. I'd never really leveled so fast as with Rain of Arrows with some uh, good leveling gear because this shit just covers the entire screen right from the get-go and is destroying things. So I hope you guys try out Reign of Arrows. This is my idea so far for um, this version of the skill. And I uh, guess I'm calling the character Reign of Doom. Some shit like that. It's been a lot of fun. I think it's currently the funnest character I've played this league. And hopefully it scales uh, right up into the end game. We'll see how it goes. I'll hopefully fine tune it in the next few days. Take on some end game and maybe even uh, level up into some uh, slightly higher levels in the 90s. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the build. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.